Hey guys, it's Harry, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create an iAd. Uh, iAds, if you don't know, I bet most of you probably know, um, are Apple's new advertising system to advertise inside their applications, or inside other people's applications. So, uh, today I'm going to be going through how to create an iAd. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is go onto the internet and let's create a new window. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And uh, I don't know if you have to have a developer account to create iAds. I think right now you might. Okay, I don't know why that's not working. But, um, either way, um, if you are a registered developer, I know that you just go to the iPhone 4.0 section, and it should be very big somewhere down here telling you about the iAd download. And for the rest of you guys, I think you just have to wait until the iPhone is released, then we can all create iAds, at least I believe. So, um, but, uh, uh, Whatever. All you have to do is download this on the website if your developer it just shows up there, and it should be very easy to find. Then, once you download it, you just install this. Now, I've already installed it, making it easier for me to show you guys. So, then you need to go into your Macintosh HD. You go uh, into Developer, and here's the folder for it. So, the first thing you want is to be able to test your iAd. So the way that you test it is by installing the iAd tester for the device. You just drag and drop this into iTunes and uh, sync it to your device. And then you get a pretty looking icon with an iAd sort of symbol there. And um, once you go into it, you can view your iAds. And so it's pretty simple. And so now you have to create an iAd to be able to do this. Um, so, I'll just go into iTunes and show you this. So, you sync the ads onto your device by selecting the iAd tester application in iTunes up uh, here in this little list, wherever it is. I'm not going to spend time to try and find it. But, uh, you select it in the file sharing system, iAd tester. And then you need to add documents to here. So it comes with a sample ad, and I will show that to you. So and you go into the uh, iAdJS developer, and then go into iAdJS, samples, and sample.add. That's how you mark any ad folder, uh, uh, folder bundle for your ad uh, with dot .add and you have to have these three things so the add unit kit, uh, the creatives, and the iAd.plist I'm not quite sure um, why you need what exactly the creatives is for but uh, I think the add unit is obvious so this automatically opens up, the index.html automatically opens up this is an add, you should add script and style to make this page and make great ad all right, and the creatives, um, if you go into basic, you have to have a little banner there. And so we have an HTML banner. You have to have your own banner to advertise the ad or to show the ad. So um, it's, that ad is very simple, uh, simple graphics, well, no graphics. Uh, so you can just edit these basic things in the dot p list. So background color, action, initial orientation, supported orientations, scrolling, accessibility description, a sample ad, you know, basic stuff. So the way that you create an ad is first you can just go into documents and create a new folder. And I have a lot of weird stuff in my documents. Where did that folder go? Oh, great. 
I think I accidentally pressed return. So now I have somewhere in here a folder called Untitled. Let me find it. There we go. Wait, no. Wait. Untitled. Untitled. New folder. Um, so let's just call it uh, test add dot add. Why isn't that? Um, there you go. Test add dot add. And when you go into here, you have to create your folders that you saw before. So uh, the folders that you have to have are the add unit and creative, so and the PWIS. So we can just copy and paste these into um, our folder and edit them to our likings. Okay, why is oh there we go. Um documents test add dot add paste no longer to tape to paste just an HTML file with two in the PWIS. There we go. So um, I'm not going to actually make a new ad for you guys because it's pretty simple. You just edit the HTML. But I'll show you how to do the HTML. If you're a developer, you should have dash code on here. So we open up the index.html and this is what it looks like. So you edit anything in here. And um, if you guys don't know how to write HTML, I suggest you check out my HTML basics tutorial. And um, it's very simple, and once you get this uh, working, then you can submit your ad. I don't think you can submit them yet, uh, so I don't know how to. I don't think they've announced how to. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and see ya.